discover a new kind of fashion doll. Discover Barbie's cousin. New fancy with growing pretty hair. Long hair. Short hair. Just a pull grows at any length you want hair. Shiny hair. Silky hair. Change it as easy as you change your costume's hair. Discover combing. Braiding. Styling. Discover Mattel's new fancy with growing pretty hair. With each new day, you find a way to be your best. Gillette Sensor for the best shave possible. You know you got to be. Gillette Sensor has spring-mounted twin blades that sense and adjust to every detail of every face. Gillette Sensor, together with Gillette Gel, you can't get a safer, closer, easier shave. Imagine a breeze that can make you feel beautiful. Introducing Venus Breeze, the only razor with built-in shave gel bars. Experience how it effortlessly glides, releasing a light lather, so there's no need for shave cream. Discover how Venus Breeze flexes to closely fit your curves, leaving skin silky smooth. Now every woman can breeze through her day, feeling beautiful. New Venus Breeze. Reveal the goddess in you. Also in Olympia, a group of Kirkland High School students are pushing lawmakers to get rid of gender-based pricing on some products. It's uh, called the Pink Tax, and it references products like razors, deodorants, body wash, even things like car insurance. I like to begin my day with the fresh feeling I get from soap and water. But soap and water freshness lasts only a few hours. To extend that fresh feeling, I use FDS. FDS Feminine Deodorant Spray. FDS has a unique time-release formula that helps keep me feeling confident hour after hour. Feeling far fresher, far longer than plain soap and water. FDS, to extend that fresh feeling longer. Oh, oh excuse me, <laughs> that's okay. Um, where are the super feminine napkins, please? The new beltless ones? Beltless? I didn't know there was a beltless napkin in super. There is now. New Stay Free Super Maxi Pads. They're super feminine protection. They're thicker. But do they stay secure? Sure, the adhesive strip is extra wide. Wow, a super napkin and beltless comfort too. The pink tax is not actually a tax, but rather the fact that women are charged more for certain goods and services, and that products marketed to women are often more expensive than the same product marketed to men. This includes basic products like shampoo, razors, and clothes. But the same also goes for everyday services that are not marketed along gender lines, like dry cleaning, mortgages, and auto purchases. Ladies, enjoying the film? Of course not. Because this is our movie! And Dr. Pepper 10 is our soda. It's only 10 manly calories, but with all 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. It's what guys want! Well, new legislation announced today to put an end to the so-called pink tax. allow the Washington State Attorney General's office to investigate accusations of gender-based pricing and anyone who is caught would face civil penalties. Washington State lawmakers already passed a bill in 2020 that made feminine hygiene products exempt from sales and use taxes, but students say that didn't go far enough. Right, so this has been going on for a long time, and it's essentially when products and services that are aimed towards women cost more than comparable products and services that are aimed towards men. And it might be as simple as maybe a pink razor on the shelf versus a blue razor on the shelf at your local drugstore, for example, and that pink razor costs more. And so it's, it's really important that we talk about this so women can be more mindful when they shop. Star Wars, you and your children loved it. Now the Earthlings at Kenner have asked my associate and me to present the Star Wars collection. 
truly remarkable toys and games for your children. What are you so excited about now? My goodness, the Star Wars TIE Fighter and X-Wing Fighter. Now your children can relive our great space battles or collect our wonderful Star Wars companions with Kenner's Star Wars action figures. Um, I do think, to your point, that the personal care and grooming category, to me, is the biggest offender. Um, but we also see this in other categories. We see this in apparel. We see this in uh, services like haircuts and dry cleaning. So it, it does sneak into other categories as well. But really, where I would keep my eye on it would be personal care, because that's the very worst. Look at super values from Sears. Save 20% on the shirt and pants that fit in Mrs. Sizes. They're worth a second look. They're worth a second look. What we are seeing right now, which is really nice, are a lot of brands that are gender neutral. And so obviously, if you're buying a brand that's gender neutral, it's marketed towards men and women and, and non-binary folks, and the price will be more of a level playing field. So that's something that I would do. I would also look at the fine print, like compare your unit prices on the shelf. You know, that pink razor and that blue razor, if they look like they're comparable products, and the pink one's more expensive, then just buy the blue one. Or like socks, for example. Men's socks are so much more colorful these days, but as a woman, you can certainly buy a pair of men's socks if they're less expensive than women's. One's personal success and economic well-being should not be determined by their gender.